In the era of the internet, plastic money and social distancing, card payments have skyrocketed and along with it, payment card fraud. Card fraud is responsible for multi-billion dollar losses for banks, merchants and consumers worldwide. But Fidzai is here and committed to stop fraudsters and stop financial crime. Our products work in the critical path of a transaction and are responsible to decide if a transaction should be accepted or blocked. This means that our models need to make decisions in just a few milliseconds and they need to do it in streaming. Recurrent neural networks, or simply RNNs, are cyclic deep learning architectures that can learn from sequences of events like card payments. The recurrent block is responsible for learning the consumption patterns of the card holders and embed this information in the recurrent state. However, RNNs assume that the events are contiguous sequences. They handle a series of events of one sequence, then another series of events of the next sequence, and so on. Just like words in sentences. In our case, a sequence is the history of transactions of a card, and events are transactions of each card. But when processing payments, we have no control on what transaction will arrive next. That is, contrary to most applications of RNNs, our sequences are interleaved and unbounded, with irregular time intervals between events. To handle sequences as interleaved and unbounded, we need to adapt the way RNNs work and manage an internal RNN state for each card in production. For instance, imagine that we've just processed five transactions from three different cards, and that we are now handling transaction six. To score transaction six, we start by making some pre-processing that transforms the transaction into inputs that the model can handle. Then, we join these inputs with the previous GRU state of card B, which was lastly changed in transaction 3. Finally, we provide all this information to our classifier to make a prediction. At the same time, in parallel, we also store the new state of card B for future predictions. As you can imagine, this is a lot of bookkeeping to do. And the challenge is precisely this. How can we handle all this bookkeeping when we want to use our NANs to make predictions in just a few milliseconds? Check out our paper to understand better how we deal with these interleaved sequences. In the paper, we also share many useful tips on how to train and deploy our NANs efficiently for a demanding production environment, where we take on average just 4 milliseconds to score each transaction and less than 11 milliseconds to score 99% of the transactions.